motivate the graduates and completers. And also to the faculty and staff, thank you so much for the trust to be the guest speaker today. To be honest, I was hesitant to accept this invitation because based on my assessment to myself, I am not a very good writer nor experienced speaker. With that, I consider this as a challenge. Lisod na dyan ka ay mabalibad sa akong body sa RTC na si Ma'am May. So, I took the risk. So, Ma'am, sir, please bear with me na in the middle of my speech, I could speak vernacular. Can I po? Thank you. I stand before you today as a guest speaker or consider me as your ate. Ate ha? Dili kuya, ate. Mo, tunong ba yung kot sa kong pangalan na Christian? So, I am deeply humbled and honored to address to a group of individual who are about to embark a new chapter. Congratulations, graduates and completers. This is your moment, your time to shine and to celebrate your hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Palakbaka ninyo ang sarili. May I request the graduates to please stand? Ang harap sa likod. Na. Verify your parents sa likod. At kung nakita nyo na sila, kaway-kaway. Kaway. Parents responsible. Okay. Graduates and completers, please tell your mama and papa, ma, pa, mo graduate na po. Salamat sa inyong suporta. Okay, again. Graduate na po. You ready? Go. Graduate na po. Graduate na po. Okay. Harap sa likod. Oh, sabay ko po. Now. Why am I am requesting you to do that simple gestures? Because I want you to appreciate your parents' effort for their unending support. To educate and nurture your capabilities and talents as individual. For that, palampakan natin ang ating mga ina at ama. The next thing I would like to congratulate are of course the teachers. You have successfully done great responsibilities in bringing these children to what they are now. Your undying love, guidance, and commitment to teach these children have made great changes in their lives. I have a question. Grade 6, are you now ready to proceed to the next level? Okay, how about to the completers? Oh, mahina na. Completers, are you ready? Yes! Okay, good. And to the senior high school, are you ready? Yes! Okay, yes. Some of you maybe would answer, Yes, ma'am, excited. Nakul ba, especially to the senior high school. Kay tumot, you will be dealing with a new environment. And maybe to the others would say, Ma'am, excited po ma'am, kaya pasin mga classmate na ako, nga kong crush. Ay, na mo'y crush? Okay. May tao so much for that. You should be always ready in any aspect. Take education with all your heart, mind, and spirit. The theme for this year, graduate ng K-12, hinubog ng matatag na inokasyon. K-12 graduates molded through a resilient educational foundation. It talks about resilient. In other words, pagiging matibay, firm, or strong. I 
believe the graduates here in Maglampi and the Great School possess this characteristic because in the midst of pandemic, you never thought of giving up your studies. Instead, the learning process continued. Sabi nga sa kasabihan na walang mahirap sa taong may pangarap. Isn't it? Yes. 11 years ago, since I graduated from high school and 15 years from elementary, I could still recall when I had my elementary. Makita na na ko ang kalisod nila mama o papa. Wherein sometimes, ang aong pag-eskwela na himog lalis pa nila. Merely because of lack of income. My father was just a prideful driver o mamakalay. And my mother is a housewife. I am the youngest among the four siblings. My pound at that time was only five pesos. But maingnan pa usahay ni Papa, pangundang na lang mo o eskwela. It hurts, but we magig so on, take it positively. O poingon, pahala po ka dirak pa, dilig mi mangundang. O magpaktas mi, paingon sa eskwelahan. So God, sa Baura ang sunan sa panigod to. We understand our father, he was sick at that time. Maybe he was able to utter that word because gusto niya muhatag, pero wala siya ikahatag. 